I can't even explain to you how much I love grooves like this. Syncopated hi-hat, displaced backbeat, tons of texture, and a couple left foot chicks, come on! Now coming up, I'm definitely gonna teach you this groove, but most importantly, I'm gonna teach you the why behind the groove. Why should you learn this groove? I honestly think that's more important than learning the groove itself. All right, so let's dive into this one. Now, the first thing we need to dive into is the why. Why are we learning this groove? Why should you learn this groove? Why should you learn any groove? Well, when you learn a groove note for note, not only is it good for you because it'll point out some things you can't do, maybe some sticking patterns that your body isn't familiar with, but it will also open your mind to things that other people do that you might want to put into your playing. So I don't need you to learn this groove verbatim for you to play note for note. I want you to learn it and through the process, find something out about yourself or find something that you can add into your drumming. All right, let's start cracking on this one. So first off, it's a two bar groove. It's fairly long. And at the speed that I played it at in the intro, it's a bit complicated. And yes, there's a China on my kit. We'll talk about that later. Okay, so a groove that's that dense, your best bet is to chip away at it one note at a time. Now I'm gonna put the notation on the screen. I'm gonna play it extremely slow, but the notation is also in the description below. If you wanna open up the Groove Scribe and work on it at 30 beats per minute, I would suggest chipping away at this one note at a time or maybe little groups of four notes at a time because there's so much going on. You've got this a lot of ghost notes, double accent there, one E and a, then you've got a left foot, then the biggest thing that I think you need to be thinking about is what is the groove? This is not the groove. That's what my drums sound like through a vocal mic. That's not the groove, that's the beat. That's the whole thing. What is the groove? Well, the groove is the primary notes, the main kicks and the main snares. So let's just listen to the groove real quick, then I'll play this thing really slow and we can just build up to it. So that's the groove. That's what everyone is gonna feel. Some drummers might pick up on the ghost notes and the accents and the left foot, but not everyone is a drummer. Everyone is going to feel those notes. Those are the primary notes of the groove. So keep that in mind. Even though you have to learn this massive pattern, the most important thing are the primary notes. All right, now I'm gonna play the groove for you very slow, or at least as slow as I can without screwing it up, and I'll do it for 32 bars. So hopefully that'll give you enough time to just chip away at this thing, come back to it, try it again, and keep chipping away. Now obviously with a groove that complicated at that tempo, which was 50 BPM, it's not gonna groove very hard. The whole point of doing it that tempo is just trying to get it into your bloodstream. Most importantly, just learning the thing note for note. In the beginning, don't worry too much about ghost notes and accents and all of that. Just learn the pattern itself. So monotone, it's not gonna sound very cool. Oh my God, was that on two? It's not gonna sound very cool, but
But at that point, it's just about internalizing the pattern. I always say you can't detail a car you don't even own. So you gotta get the car first, and then you can detail it, then you can give it the vibe. So goal tempo on this one is about 115. If you've worked out this groove and you wanna try it with me, let's give it a go. I'm sure you also heard that I was putting in some five stroke rolls at the end or every once in a while a little open hi-hat or an extra kick. That's what you wanna do with this. Once you learn it down, take it from being a beat into a groove environment, something that you can explore, something that you can have fun with and that you can slowly start to interject your personality into this thing. All right, everyone, I hope you had a great time. I hope you learned something and you have something new to practice. If you want more of this stuff, please check out mikeslessons.com, subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment, all that stuff. But until next time, go practice.